Keep them. Helgramite method. Cure for the problem drinker. Hey, can I buy you a drink? Just make it one for the road. I'm out of here. Put it on my tab. You were down one before. Miley Judson, an everyman who has strayed from the path, slipped and fallen many times. A man who seeks solace from his problems at the bottom of a glass. A good man at war with himself, slowly drowning in alcohol, swallow by swallow pulled down by the insidious undertow of an endless ocean of booze, helpless to stop doing the one thing he does better than anything else, drink. Hey, rise and shine. Jamie. Just one more for the road. That's what you said five hours ago. We're closed, Miley. Go home. Yeah. Home. I gotta go home. Hungry. So what do you say we take this old cold pizza? Put it in a nice hot oven. Do you have any idea what time it is? <laughs> Are you sick again, Daddy? Come here. You get the trail, kiddo. You got school tomorrow. Take any more. <laughs> Doctor Jeannie Mur <laughs> Merrick. <laughs> I know. Listen, I know it's late. Matchbox says, 24 hours a day. Come. Come in, Mr. Uh... Miley Judson. Judson. Come in, Mr. Judson. I'm used to my patients dropping in at odd hours. <sighs> the advertisement mentions a cure. Yes, the Helgramite method. <laughs> mm. Go ahead, help yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want one? No, thank you. No. I need some information. Information? What kind of information? Just tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, I'm tired of talking about all the friends I've lost. I'm tired about talking about all the blackouts. I'm tired of the hangovers. 
Look, I know I got a problem. I'm an alcoholic. There's the bottom line is, what can you do about it? Have you tried to quit? Oh, a thousand times, tried everything. Shrinks. <laughs> Aversion therapy, eh. Nothing lasts more than two or three months. Because I love this stuff. I hate this stuff. I understand. And I can help. I've yet to encounter a case that's beyond my help. The Helgramite method is unique. Well, uh, what are you going to do? It's the first step in your treatment. quite sure you want to quit drinking. I want you to understand that with this method, there's no turning back. Things couldn't get much worse. That's all there is to it for now. Call me in a couple of days. Well, that's all there is to it. There's no lecture. Next visit. You don't want to hear any speeches tonight. Go home. Get some sleep. Uh, what do I owe you? The initial consultation is free. We'll discuss payment later if you decide to continue. Oh, hell, I'll give it a shot. I'm certain you will, Mr. Judson. Oh, how about one for the road? No, just kidding. <laughs> I one on last night, sorry. Is that the best you can do? Franny, I think we need to talk. Talk? Miley, I'm fed up. Do you understand? Hi. Hey there, Chatter. Hey, Chatter. Here. Come here. Take your breakfast. Go in the other room. No, I said I was sorry, Franny. We'll talk tonight. Things will change. I promise. You'll see. Man, you're really putting them away. Watering the stuff down, Jamie? This stuff's got no kick at all. Give me a whiskey, will you? Make it a double. I never saw anybody drink that much and stay conscious. I don't feel a thing. This is nuts. I see you've been drinking, Mr. Judson. Just tell me what's going on. Well, as you recall, last night you agreed to start the Helgamite treatment. So? Have you ever heard of the Helgamite worm, Mr. Judson? What? No. Ah. Well, the capsule you swallowed last night contained a rare sort of tapeworm, the Helgamite larva. By now, the worm has attached itself to your stomach. Your drinking has stimulated its growth. Were. Oh, God. You gotta be kidding. From now on, the Helgramite will absorb all the liquor you can consume. You won't feel any effect from drinking. You don't think I believe any of this, do you? Seeing is believing. Of course, this one's not yet fully grown. You put one of those 
things in me. The pleasure of alcohol is over for you. No more buzz, Mr. Judson. No matter how much you drink, the worm will never be satisfied. And if ever you stop drinking, the pain will be excruciating. How could you do this to me? You did it to yourself. Oh, I've got to get rid of it! You can't! A worm is no part of you. There's got to be something I can do. There is. What? Starve it into dormancy. How? Stop drinking. Stop drinking. Stop drinking. Stop. I stop drinking, I can stop it. It's dangerous. You might not live through it. And even if you succeed, the worm will always be waiting for you to drink oh. again. Every time the Helgramite is wakened from his dormant state, it comes back stronger. Oh. Eventually, strong enough to kill you. I think the Helgramite is getting thirsty, Mr. Johnson. Would you care for a drink to ease the pain? Oh. Or have you got the guts to stop? Stay with your mom and your dad for a week, maybe two. Why? Because I'm going to lick this thing once and for all. Cold turkey. Same old broken record. I know you don't believe me, but this time is different. Franny, give me one last chance. Miley. Please, I can do it. What makes you think that this time is going to be any different? That's it. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Chad. Feeling 
is nothing compared to what I went through when I lost my family. A man had been drinking. My wife and two children were crossing the street with the light. He didn't even break until after he'd hit them. I came to you for help. I came to you for a second chance. And I'm giving you a chance. A chance for a new life. You've begun the process. Now you either quit drinking or die. Eventually, strong enough to kill you. To square my tab. Thanks. How about a drink? It's on the house. Gotta run. See you around. Miley Judson happened upon the simple discovery that there is no surefire cure, no quick fix, no shortcut to either sobriety or peace of mind. Some people achieve it through an individual act of will. Others find strength in numbers. What Miley Judson needed was a little something extra, something that could only be found in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> 